Hello and welcome back to Season 2, Episode 12 of Rise of the Villains by Aston Villa Seven Football Manager. Uh, yeah, so where we left off, we just secured Champions League football, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, we've got four league games left now, though. Uh, all the budgets and stuff are announced. We've been given £34 million, I think. I did see the message here somewhere, but I've probably skipped it along now. But yeah, we've been given £34 million for next season, but I'm going to, in this episode, going to play out the remainder of the games this season, and then I'll take a look at recruitment following that, and we'll see where we go. Uh, likely, again, maybe recruitment will be off screen, I'll give you a recap video, just because otherwise I feel that could go on for hours with the way I am with my recruitment. Uh, we will see though. I've toyed with the idea of maybe doing the transfer windows as live streams, but excuse me, uh, something at the minute I've not really uh, sure of. But anyway, on to the Southampton game. Kind of feels like the pressure's off a bit with Champions League secured, but I still want to kind of do my best to keep up, give the foot on the gas. But I do want to give them the players that have been on the fringes more minutes. Scouting on players that I've previously had interest in. Again, I'll do a full extensive recruitment in the uh, summer. Ah, Bale, and it's not going as well as they would have hoped. But yeah. Liverpool won the league quite easily. So here we are with the Saints game. Al Torres is just signed every day. I wonder what kind of release clause he's got now. Just out of pure interest more than anything else. 151 million. So he's certainly not going anywhere. That is that is astronomical though. That is unbelievable. How are Villarreal affording to pay Paul Torres 350 grand a week? And Johan Foyth nearly 200 grand. How on earth have these these lads got them kind of wages? That has genuinely stunned me. Gary Pino is Pino's a good player. But he's already got a bumped up release clause if you sign a new deal. Wow. Okay. <laughs> They're a bit screwed financially. Jesus. Go on, Diaz. I need perfect English, son. Anyway, speaking of Diaz. So, he drops out through suspension, in which we'll play Tapia again. Uh, you're now injured for the season, which means we'll play Ramsey, though. Who is it? I said I wanted to. What was it? I'm gonna give. See, as a game. I'm I'm gonna rest for Tinian because I don't see the need in. If he's not fully fit, I don't see the need in rushing him. Douglas Louise can be on the bench because he's not been on the bench all season. We'll go with that. It's not too weak. It's not too strong. Give some minutes to some players that've been on the fringes. Yeah, I want to see it. Put on a show, gentlemen. Don't need this no more, really, do we? XG match story. That might be an interesting thing for Paul. Not enough data to create visualisation. Well, that's not good, is it? Match overview. No, I don't think I want match overview. Key events, is it? Can't even remember why I had it on that. Not a blood event. Got to remember them. Onana, Tapia, Conzo, Diaz, Rangan gives it away. Which costs us. It's not the finest of starts. Nathan Redmond, Pamsey. There's still plenty of time in this game to get something. And again. We've uh, we've assured ourselves of the best we can get in the Champions League. We're just playing for 
third, second or fourth now, which, to be honest, made a marginal difference to me. I mean, ideally we'll finish runner-up, but it doesn't mean anything really, does it? Second is only the first loser, as the famous expression goes. I'd rather uh, rotate the squad than fire these into the ground in an attempt to get second place. Like I said, Edwards is struggling a bit again, though. Mixed, mixed, mixed bag from that player this season. I'm not going to sub him already. But... Can you recover your mess, Branganga? Pellegrini probably one of his last games as well. That's a good ball, but I should have a load better, though. That's shocking, that. Very poor. Uh, another man that's time at the club's coming to an end. Oh, not again. Thought Redmond had fired another in there. That wouldn't have been good. Diaz has picked up a bucky, but he's having another good game. Oh dear. Must be Christ, let's go with this. Oh, barely. In and out. Oh. No one wanted to shoot, though, did they? Bruno Tabata. Sounds like somebody's name that I recognise. Yeah, I don't really want to be losing this game. Well, now I'm taking the risk for no reason. Oh, Diaz. We've become a little bit sloppy in this game. And that is not what I wanted to see. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll certainly be making changes next game. Some of these players have uh, not impressed me. That's offside anyway. Yeah, some of this is a poor lackluster performance to start the episode off. Very much has the feel of a team that are on the beach. Gave away goals. Burley not got near Southampton on XG either. Yeah, that's just bad all around that. Why is Cons on a 7.8? What on earth? Anyway, onwards and upwards. That's likely ended the uh, dream of uh, second and Leicester earning five points, but third's not the worst if we cling on to that anyway. Brighton next, so. Yeah. Dean's not in the best of spirits at the moment. Quality player. Is it? Marato. Hmm. Okay. I've well, heard of this chap, but. It's a lot of money, that, to be honest. Yeah, so we'll just get on to this, straight into this Brian game, we'll make some changes. Everton. If uh, if somebody activates that, he can leave for that. That's for sure. I have no issue with somebody activating that. I'll tell you. So what was my best team? Well, he's still suspended. Cons is not even fully fit here. Let me give Forsby a game in there. I might live to regret that, but. Uh... Yeah, we'll 
Oh, go over that. Proper rotation of the team here. Vitinia's back in though. I certainly miss him whenever he doesn't play. That much is obvious to me anyway. Probably boy he's absolutely in from the Antarctic though. I don't know when the last time he had some minutes was. Aston Villa of old this last season. Douglas Lewis and John McGinn. Leon Bailey, Morgan Stanton, Ollie Watkins. A lot of last season's faces in here. Some good players, some very good players at the Brighton team. You can see why they're doing as well as they are. Oh, capitalise. Oh. Bailey. Is that given? Is that going to be given? Doesn't I think that'll be disallowed. I know they've given it. William Bailey. One nil. Good stuff. Uh yeah. Keep it up. Can't say in my opinion that's massively deserved, but we'll take it. Watkins, no. Oh, that's a good ball. Good save, though, as well. Pellegrini is a bit tired. Vicinius. Hmm. Don't really want to make many subs here. Could save again on now. Crosby's not having the greatest game, but it's not his best position currently. He's got a lot of learning to do in that role. And barely makes some more magic happen. Oh, the bar. Just play it safe, but I don't want him to be culpable for an error. Which very well looks like he might have been just before he subbed. I don't know, Leon Bailey made the mistake though. Well, let's go with that anyway. It doesn't make much difference at this point, does it? Pretty green in the game. Stanton. Bailey. Again. That might be offside as well. He did look it. Kippen as well. Two goals that were contentious. William Bailey played a key part in both of them. Are we going to damage Brighton's Champions League hopes? Because you don't even know if there's any chance of at this point, to be honest. Oh, they're in here, though. Oh, what a save, Onana. How have we not scored though? Chambers, Onana, Pellegrini, Watkins, Sanson, Ings, still can't lose. Off corner. Still can't break his ducks. That's a Chambers well played. Bailey's in. Oh. Should be doing better though. Should be doing better. I'm out of, uh, Chambers scrambles. Smash. Yes. Hold on. Smash and grab win. 50 50 on possession. You don't see that every day. I was going to say we're a good win. Looks like being critical. Yeah, let's put Spurs back in fifth. 
That's uh, Brighton's Champions League hopes extinguished. Spurs have put themselves back in with a chance, but nothing much really more than a chance. Yeah, it does have Taki's now one appearance from 50. Well, uh, that'll probably be his last appearance of the season, then, because I don't really want to pay that yet. Which you know is cheap, but. <clears throat> If he's leaving, I don't see the need in paying an extra five million. <laughs> McGinn should be dropped by Scotland, right, after he plays a banger. Again, this is the thing with the algorithms, like stuff like that. I I know he's not played hardly at all, but they've put that out right as he's just played and man of the match performance. Interesting, Virginia's on a slight down slope at the minute, but yeah, Liverpool steamrolled. City have drawn the first game against Chelsea. Three points in it now, my seven draws and seven losses. So we've got Everton and then. Somebody on final day. Again, we'll just go with strongest. The game can keep his place. Daly's a bit tired though, I'll bring Brandy back in. Martinez. Answer. Yeah, we'll go with that. Check for Sydney stats. Yeah, 24 and 33 this season. 29 and 37 in all comps. So not a bad season by any stretch of the imagination for the boy. Again, it's hard, it's hard this episode because we all, we know everything's said and done and there's not much really to play for in these games. But uh, they've still got to be played all the same. Oh, Cabot Lewin was in. Watkins, Virginia. Vandia, Virginia, Vandia. 1 0. Unless he's given us offside, which is possible. Because I've had a few that I've been given. I've been given that as well. Seems to be doing well with offside decisions with VAR. Definitely given more than we're not given, that is for sure. Cash. Ramsey. Cash. Ramsey. Virginia. Again, could be offside. Every single goal. The past four goals we've scored have been offside, possible. Yeah. That one's disallowed, though. Which is a shame because Urban is 30. Ramsey, Bandia, Bandia. Nah, corner. Corner. Ooh. Again. It's a good ball. Watkins finishes for his third of the season. He's not had a great season. Everton, obviously, last season had quite the run in the Europa League. I don't know if they've got to the final or not. Uh, when I did check, they had Wolfsburg in the semis, I believe. Hmm. Not much going down. Everton in possession. Kenny. Godfrey. Kenny. <laughs> Same triangles. 
probably nick the ball on the counter. Cash has got it. Oh, that's a howler. A howler from Onana. Gives them way back into the match, that does. Ranchuk's levelled it right up as well. A blink of an eye. Two goals that Onana's suspect for there. Gonna make a change. I'm gonna go and bring Target back on for some minutes. We deserve to be winning this game, so it'd be sad to see if we've thrown it away. And uh, oh my word! What a capitulation! What a capitulation that is. We're on a two goal lead away. Jesus Christ. Watkins has fired another in though for free at all. Come on. Mylenko. Oh, Garza, who I've got with Soul. Clever. Oh, Garza. Oh, my word. One day, and then I fired a free kick in. Can't find the net. Minutes tick down. Looking like we've uh, threw a three, a two goal lead away. Blend all square on the points. Unless we can steal something very late in this game. A bit looking to do the same. Oh, Everton have done the, have stolen it. Mm, we're not ending this season in the best of form. I cannot wait for this uh, last game of the season to get this over with now. <laughs> we know we're playing Champions League football. We know we've won the Carabao Cup. We know it's an incredibly successful season. Jesus, Coutinho at that 4-4. 50th league goal of his career. What a game for the for the casual. What a game for the casual. But there's now nine point gap, so that that secures us in third place. And City have lost again, which means now we can still get second again on final day. If we'd have won there, we'd have been level on points that doesn't really matter anyway because of the goal difference so yeah it's at Brighton Oof. it's looking like third place when D's have five or ten Norwich again that's fine oh, I've got a massive gap here now no one wanted that there's not much point in cutting away either because the episode's going to be quite short anyway Every time he's just wanting a new deal. Good lord. Yeah, the episode's going to be quite short anyway because the nature of the fact we've just had three league games to finish the season off with. There's no real uh, point in cutting away here, to be honest. Especially when I can uh, kind of start to talk through my recruitment, what I plan to do with this squad. Uh, Martinez, for me, would be sold if I get the right offer. I can't, I can't keep him as a backup. Um, 
I need a new left back for sure because Pellegrini won't be activated. And Campbell and Louise are probably casualties because they just not had the minutes required. And I want to be replacing Danny Ings. He's still wanted by a host of clubs, so I can see that release clause getting activated. I'm half tempted to offer him a new deal under the revised wage structure. Now, unfortunately, he's cottoned on to the fact that he's, he's been. Other clubs are interested in him, and therefore he's not interested in a new deal. So it's likely his release clause will be activated, which is a real shame, but it's good profit on the player, for sure. I will try and keep him, but I cannot make any promises at this time. Nearly there now. Feeney's won something. FA Trophy. Well played. Well played Josh Feeney. Well Leicester have confirmed Champions League as well. Didn't know. Congratulations to them. Well the four still at it. Could still hit the man Magic Centurions. Yeah Leicester have confirmed Champions League. Brighton have gone back to 5th. Spurs back out to 7th. It's such a fascinating race, this. It's the most interesting uh, part of the season now. Because the majority of the other stuff's already settled. Martinez is out and his season's over. I am tempted to give Goita a game. That's good. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think Vincent Goita can start this game. Goita, however you say it. And we'll give some send offs to some players there, I think. Ward commits. Which Ward's that? Charlie Ward. Oh, I was checking Everton as well. Huh? Interesting. Paul and Villa played with us. Did quite well last season, too. Anyway. Yes, Everton. How have I been going? I couldn't for life me see what I wanted to see though. Ah, they got to the final. Jesus, so since they played me, they played three games. They lost the Conference League final to Feyenoord, got battered by Liverpool. That's a shame for them. Especially because they hammered Wolfsburg as well. Well, I say hammered, went through 5-3. It's not hammering, but... Comprehensive, went over two legs. Watkins misses the final game of the season. That's a shame for him as well. Thorsby's training well. Wings is training badly again. He wants to leave. Thorsby any better at centre-back? Yeah. No. I'll make sure. Yeah, I, I signed him trying to convert him to a centre back, and it's just not gone on so far, unfortunately. Still, good signing, I suppose. A little steeper than I would have liked, but I think he's done alright. Last game of the season versus Norwich. Yeah, I'm, I agree. So, what we will do is we'll pick a team from scratch. Ones and yellows. Uh, Douglas Louise. Play you three deeper forward. Play you on the right. Play you in the pocket. Play you out left. Play you up front. 
Canva, Billy, Marcel, Target, Ings, Cash, Bobby, McGinn, and Buendia. No goalkeeper. One Anna can wreck the last game of the season. We'll go with that. See how they get on. See if we can win and get that second place secured. So we'll do lower scores because there's no point in doing a uh, league table because it doesn't update it properly, does it? Conzo manages to fire one in, gives us the first goal of the weekend in the league. So really, it's just a city game and bothered about. Leeds are being Arsenal. Last time we beat Newcastle, Leeds are being Arsenal too now. So yeah, it's mostly the city game and bothered about. Spurs have equalised. Edwards. Oh, Marcus Edwards fires in a free kick. Leeds running riot. Right in a win. Everton a win. Diaz. Virginia, 31st of the season. Looking comfortable so far. I think we need Southampton to beat City. Comes of fires and other is on for that trick here. Easy breezy last game of the season for us. Pellegrini's just knackered though, he might get bring on target I think early. Keep it going lads. Yeah, we'll just we'll do that. Reader scores a free kick, which is interesting because I tried to sign him last season and he chose Norwich over me. Enjoy relegation, my friend. Liverpool, City have taken the lead though. Which will secure them second place. Spurs still very good though, I feel. Right now, again, I've gone. Spurs in front. Leads with 4 0 up as well. Gotta do this, haven't I? From out of nowhere, marvelous my camera cam in. Yeah, so won the game comprehensively, which will secure third place finish for us, which is incredible. Fantastic season, push City almost all the way for runners up, comfortably in the CL spots. Marketable improvement from last season. Uh, and yeah, Great makes his debut. So we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. That's why I'm relegated as well. I relegated Norwich. We'll wrap it up. Uh, I'll get some recruitment done off screen, uh, and then I will come back. Probably like we do a recruitment bid, kind of let you know who I signed, what I've done kind of thing um, we'll go from the we'll just do the end of season review so can reach is a C Bob is a B minus or not is an A minus Bruni is an A plus Diaz is a B plus C plus for Ranganga Edwards is B minus B minus from Marocal A plus on Pellegrini is C because he's not really featured Adelaide United he went to. These are all the clubs these players went to. They were buzzing with Louis Barry, weren't they? Bloody hell. Yeah, won the Carabao. In convincing style. I mean, we only really had a couple of challenging games, but we won them. Beating Middlesbrough, beating City, goal of the season, came with Ramsey. 
that's the finances. The broadcast revenue is slightly down. Everything ups. Everything else is up quite a bit, which should help financially. It's not the best team. Ming's found a cash target on Arna. Fogg with Rangango. Yeah, that's fair enough. 31 goals for Virginia. Which is quite impressive. Couldn't you made a lot of appearances off the bench and he still contributed quite a bit. Player of the season, Virginia. Young player, Virginia. Onana signing. Ramsey goal season. Most well, Cisper and Ganga only ended up with 11, which I think is one more than McGinn, which surprises me because he got that by almost January. But yeah. Happy with that. Much, much better season than last season. Really, really happy with it, to be fair. Uh, all this stuff now. End of season team meeting. This is going to be a tricky one. Yeah, so we're going to try and qualify for the Champions League next year, for the Euro Europa League next season, which makes fair. Uh, training camp. I'm going to go to USA for some reason. Virginia. No, I did need today's release clause for me to see what I did. Got third in the end on the top goals. Still not too bad though. Not too bad at all. And yeah, thank you very much for joining me uh, for another season. Uh, we'll hopefully come back and we'll have some Champions League football to play next season, which is incredible for a third season. I really didn't expect this kind of progress. Uh, I'm really happy with how it's gone. So. Thanks for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time.